an executor could be a shell a virtual box a docker or anything so in this video i just walked you through how the default setup is working for the GitLab server when, when it comes to the CICD jobs and pipelines in the next video i'll show you how to actually set up the GitLab runner as a container and then inside that container how we can register an executor to run our pipeline jobs so in the next video i'll update this docker compose file and i'll add another service here called GitLab runner that will be coming from the docker hub as a GitLab runner image and then once this is installed we will communicate between the GitLab server and the GitLab runner from here to register a new runner here and then we will copy this command from here and run it inside the runner GitLab runner instead of the GitLab server to register an executor and that executor will then run our pipelines so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next video how to set up the GitLab runner